I'm going to talk to the doctors here for a minute. When we were in school and all through our training, we've been taught that for any procedure, we should give informed consent. Now, what is informed consent? This is where I will tell the patient the benefits, the risks, the alternatives. So what their options are. You know, surgeons do it every day. Any surgical procedure, you need to explain why you feel it's important they get that surgery, but also what their options are if they don't do the surgery. What are the other alternatives, right? When it comes to vaccines, folks, this is a medical procedure. This is a definite invasive intervention. We are injecting substances into an otherwise healthy person to prevent some future illness. And there are huge benefits to vaccines. I am a pro-vaccine doctor, but there are also known side effects. You may as a physician say, here's the benefits, but in your case, there seem to be these additional risks. The choice is yours, parent, correct? Now that's informed consent. What I see happening is a total destruction of the informed consent process when it comes to vaccines. And let me just say to, to the parents out there, I suggest you go into your doctor and you ask them what they feel about informed consent when it comes to vaccines. Because if they're not willing to talk to you in a detailed manner about the pros and cons and the risks, the benefits and the alternatives, you probably should find another physician. Parents, what are you going to choose to do? Let's just take it out of the realm of our children and imagine you yourself, an adult, you're going to walk into your doctor's office and without your permission, they're going to give you a vaccine or they're going to do a medical procedure on you. Will you go back to that doctor? I think not. This is what I see as a developing tragedy in our country because pediatricians, we need to be at the forefront leading the charge to being the ones who stand by our patients and give them the informed consent process, give them the information, the pros and the cons, and let them make decisions. I've also just joined a new organization, Doctors for Medical Freedom, and this is going to be a nationwide organization of doctors who are basically fighting for the right to have informed consent. We shouldn't have to fight for that right. It is unethical not to give informed consent. I don't know where we are going as a country where doctors are somehow giving up their ethics and allowing a procedure to be just mandated, legislated, and bypassing informed consent. Physicians, I challenge you, think about what you're doing if you're truly going to evade, avoid, or somehow not do your process of informed consent when it comes to any medical procedure, and especially one that could potentially cause some harm. You know, a crazy thing, I remember back in medical school, and that was, of course, around the time of the dinosaurs, there was something called the Hippocratic Oath, first do no harm. And I distinctly remember that, yeah, if you might possibly cause harm, you should step back and think twice. That even precedes informed consent, where you know you might cause harm, but you may also have benefit. But at least you're giving the full story. Parents, don't be fooled. Those little one-page glossies from the CDC is not informed consent. Sure, it's helpful, it's informative, but there is a lot more information you need to make an informed decision, and it's your doctor's responsibility to get you that information and let you decide what you want to do for yourself and for your children. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.